Hi, and welcome to part two of the Modulus Manufacturing AR4 Mark III Robotic Arm Kit Build. Right in front of me, I have the Stepper Motor Kit that was purchased from Stepper Online that comes as part of the recommended bill of materials from Adam Robotics. We've got the power supply. With this one, as you'll see in the video uh, when we look at the unboxing, it does require a uh, an adapter for your country's uh, power points uh, that goes into this IEC plug. Otherwise, you only get a European or US style plug that comes with it. Additionally, all of these in uh, have their uh, little keys. In page 70 of the uh, AR4 Mark III build manual, version 1.2, it specifies that the three millimeter key is in a Ziploc bag that comes with the kit. I personally freaked out when not finding this uh, bag, only to discover that the keys are located already pre-mounted in the, the motor and covered by these yellow caps. So do not lose these keyways, uh, otherwise your build will be severely delayed. So we'll jump back a couple of months and have a look at the unboxing uh, of the stepper motor kit uh, before we get into the full build. So this is the AR4 uh, stepper motor and driver kit from Stepper Online uh, for the uh, AR4 robotic arm. The kit uh, took around 12 days to be delivered uh, from China to Perth, Western Australia. Um, and as we unbox it, we can see that there's a number of wiring diagrams right at the very top, as well as some foam for spacing out uh, components inside. Now there's six stepper drivers in here. We have these, uh, which are um, the DM332T uh, stepper drivers. And those are the ones with the light blue, uh, whereas the um, DM320T digital stepper motors, which are used for axes four, five, and six, are the ones with the solid blue line. So these are all very well packed. They come with their own foam inside, um, nicely packaged inside the box. And we've got three of these. So those are used for axes one, two, and three. And then we've got these, these three boxes here used for axes four, five, and six. We've also got a large uh, power supply here, uh, obviously for driving um, all of the electronics, the um, step motors and, the, and their, through their drivers. And underneath all of that, we've got all of the different um, stepper motors. So we've got uh, the uh, various motors in here. This one here is the J5 linear drive. Uh, so that's used for joint five, that's the linear actuator. Uh, and then we've got the various uh, different motors in here as well for the different joints. We've also got a NEMA 11 bracket, uh, which is used as well um, as part of the kit. Getting the motors out of the box itself is proving actually quite difficult. Um, they are reasonably heavy and there's not a lot to grab a hold of in the box. You don't want to put any strain on the, mo on the motor wires themselves, so really just pulling away at the foam a little bit. And pushing up on the motor shaft to lift them out. So here are all of the individual steppers and now that I've got a hand holding that I can slowly open this up and then kind of get underneath and get the motors out that way.
also be going ahead and labeling all of these motors to make it much more apparent which one is for which joint although the um, manual does lay all of this out in uh, great detail here we have all the motors uh, for the uh, AR4, uh, the six stepper motors um, and the stepper motor drivers. All of the wiring diagrams are there. They have this power supply. Unfortunately, there's no uh, availability for an Australian adapter when buying the kit. So I'll be purchasing an adapter um, for an Australian plug to the three pronged power um, power plug on the power adapter here.